right? In this video, I wanted to show you guys a really cool file transfer technique that I recently picked up. Now, a lot of people, when they go to transfer a file, they think of, you know, your tried and true ones like the HTTP file transfer, whereby you set up an Apache server or a Python web server, and then you pull down the file. That's how you host the file, right? And then you pull it down with curl or wget, something like that. A lot of people are familiar as well with transferring through SMB, SCP, and different things like that. And there's, you know, FTP. There's a lot of different file transfer methods, but this is one that I don't really see talked about pretty much ever. And that is you can actually transfer files via the ICMP protocol as well, which is really crazy. The transport protocol there. If you're not too familiar with ICMP, let me just go ahead and assure you, you are familiar with ICMP. It's actually the ping command. Like whenever you use the ping command, it actually does use the ICMP protocol. So just to showcase that, if I were to ping google.com, we see here ICMP sequence one, sequence two, etc. Also, if you, you know, take a look at the traffic in Wireshark, you'll see that the protocol that it's sending this through is ICMP. So basically this file transfer method is going to utilize the ping command to transfer data across the network, which is kind of crazy if you think about it. And the way that I first discovered this was through a tool called the Atomic Red Team. This is a framework that purple teamers use all the time because it allows you to easily set up simulated tests that will Emulate tools that, uh, you know, I, I used to use the term simulate and emulate, but uh, here, we'll cut that part. So the purpose of Atomic Red Team is to simulate an attacker with uh, various techniques that are commonly used by, by the adversary. And it's really broken down into different categories. One category that it has is file transfer techniques. And just taking a look at, this here, you see a listing of the different ones that you can emulate or simulate. And you have HTTP, DNS, SMTP, FTP, a lot of the standard ones that you'll see, but you also have this ICMP and this is how I discovered it first. And if you read through here, this is a really good preview of what it's doing. Upon successful execution, PowerShell will utilize ping ICMP to exfiltrate notepad.exe to the remote address and it defaults to localhost. So I played around with this, sent it across the network remotely, and yeah, it was able to transfer the notepad executable, which is really cool. And also monitoring the network while that was happening, I could see the ping commands come through and the data, the binary data of notepad.exe being sent across a ping request and basically all culminating in an executable file that actually worked that launched notepad on my system, which is pretty cool. Um, we could even dive into that in a future video. But in this one, I really wanted to show you guys how to take this a step further and use this outside of Atomic Red Team. And so just doing a simple search online, I found a tool that can do this, uh, icmp.py off of GitHub. There's a lot of different ones that came up when I searched that. So you could take a look at some other tools as well, maybe even a more stealthy tool that is a binary executable or something that, you know, would be easier to obfuscate and would leave less artifacts if you try to run it. Better OPSEC, basically. We're not going to worry about OPSEC in this video. It's just to show you how to use this file transfer technique. We'll save the OPSEC for another time. So, just looking at the usage here, it's a very simple tool to utilize. There's a receive and a send. So, important thing to note is you're going to need this tool both on your attacker machine and on the target machine. So on the attacker machine, you run the receive command. So it's basically listening for the file to come in. And then on the target system, you run the send command, which then sends it to the remote address of your attacker machine. And it saves it to whatever you want to name it here in destination file. So to demonstrate this, I have two servers, the CTF machine, which we're on right now. This is my attacker machine, and then we'll say the target is this 922 machine here. So in order to do this, let's first start on the attacker side with the receive command so we can get that in place. So we'll just run that here. So Python 2. This is a Python 2 tool, by the way. It's important to note. 
does not work with Python 3 as far as I'm aware. I'm sure you could find a Python 3 version of it out there. We'll save this one as file.txt. So now you see it's kind of hanging here. That's because it's listening for the incoming file to be transferred over. So now we've done that. We will get this tool onto our target machine, which I've done that already, you see here. And to transfer it, let's say we wanted to transfer this test.txt file just as a proof of concept here. You take a look at that, you have test. And in the Atomic Red Team example, they actually transferred a binary executable, notepad.exe. So with this file transfer method, you could actually send a uh, binary across the network as well. In this proof of concept, we'll just use a, uh, a text file here, but just so you know, it supports all kinds of different file formats. So with that being said, we will run the send command, and this is on the GitHub if you need to reference that. We're gonna type send, and well, we're already root in this case, so we don't have to worry about the sudo part. We will say that we wanna send text uh, test.txt and then we want to send that to, this is the IP address of my attacker machine. So we just run that. And it doesn't look like anything over here, but if we check back on the attacker machine, we notice it's no longer hanging, and we take a look at our directory, and now we have file.txt shows up. That didn't show up before. So there we go. We cat that, and we have successfully transferred the file, and... In case you don't believe me, let's just, just to verify this, I will call this like file new.txt, right? And I'll rerun it here just to show you that, yeah, it did for sure transfer the file across the network, as you see here. So that is the transfer technique, ICMP. Hopefully that helped you. And as you're learning this stuff, eventually you're going to come to the point where you're ready to start applying to jobs and uh, you're gonna be hitting up a lot of interviews along the way uh, as a result of that. You're definitely gonna to wanna to arm yourself with the top 10 pen testing interview questions that you need to know to really jumpstart you in the process. So I would definitely combine that with a lot of action taking as well, watching these videos and applying what you learn really aggressively. And yeah, with that being said, go ahead and jump into the next video. I have that on the screen for you right now. I'll see you guys right over in those videos. Thanks for watching, and as always, if you have any questions, comments, let me know down in the section below. Until then.